Mitch Trubisky going to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Do, do you really see him as a viable starter for this team going into the season and filling the shoes of Ben Roethlisberger? In the near-term future, absolutely. Week one, for sure. I mean, we've talked a lot about, and I think this speaks volumes about the lack of confidence that everyone has in this quarterback class coming out for the NFL draft. I mean, yeah, you could envision them taking a swing at uh, Kenny Pickett in Pittsburgh, playing him right in their backyard, and he's, you know, Brady and I both like him coming out, but is he ready for, you know, to start be the week one starter? Maybe. Uh, you know, Malik Willis, do they take a flyer with him in the first round? But they, I think this is a, a, a franchise that says, you know, we don't want to take a flyer on somebody who's not a, a, a lock. And, you know, they're hard to find those locks, and there really isn't one in this quarterback class. And I like the upside on Mitchell Trubisky. I, I really do. I mean, he's mobile. He's played a lot. And as much as these quarterbacks, the uncertainty, at least you know what you're going to get with Mitchell Br Trubisky. I think there's a floor that's there. And Chicago Bear fans are trolling the Pittsburgh Steelers fans right now and letting them know, oh, we'll have fun with that floor. But he's had the chance to sit back. He's, he's kind of regrouped. He can mature. He's had a chance to watch Josh Allen, how he prepares. And we've seen other quarterbacks historically uh, get a second opportunity once they've grown up and matured some about how to be a pro. And maybe, just maybe, he gets into a system that utilizes his uh, his, his skill set better than what Matt Nagy was able to do with him for the Bears. So I like this, especially all things considered with the quarterback class that's coming out for the Steelers. And I would expect him to be starting week one. You know, they have three bridges up there that go across the Allegheny River. Uh, one is Roberto Clemente Bridge. I think one is Andy Warhol Bridge, if you can believe that. Uh, well, this is what he is. He's another bridge in Pittsburgh. He's not going to be the starting quarterback for long. They're going to bring him in. He's going to play the first six or seven games, and whoever they draft in the first round will take over and be their starting quarterback. That's all he is in, in any offense is a bridge quarterback. It's amazing the perception of a guy. In Chicago, they killed the guy. Terrible. Get him out of there. He can't do anything. Then he goes to Buffalo, and he's a backup for a year, and now all of a sudden he went through a car wash, and he's a different quarterback? You are what you are. He's a bridge quarterback. He won't be their long-term starter. That could be the case, but he has an opportunity. And I think the, the important thing about what he's done is he had opportunities to go elsewhere. He could have went to the New York Giants. It was rumored that maybe he'd want to follow Brian Dable as former offensive coordinator with the Bills for a year. He's now the head coach of the Giants and then maybe look at working either to win out a quarterback competition or if Daniel Jones falters, then he's sitting there waiting in the wings to take over. He chose not to take an opportunity like that. He chose to take a place where I think he is more the clear starter, at least right now, looking at the fact, looking at what they have on the roster. Now, that doesn't exclude them from taking a guy in the draft. Uh, and to Pete's point, maybe he is that bridge quarterback. But for however many games, if he goes out and he starts and he plays well, and he doesn't have to do much on this roster, let's not forget they've got one of the best defenses in the NFL. They do have some playmakers on the outside. If they can improve their offensive line play, it won't be that hard of a job. So if he can go out and play well, maybe he provides himself an opportunity, not necessarily for the Steelers, but somewhere else in the league to revamp his career again. So kudos to him for not necessarily going with a safe play and going somewhere like Pittsburgh where he's going to have to learn a new offense, but I think it could present a decent opportunity for him. Sportsline gives the Steelers a 48% chance to make the postseason with Mitchell Trubisky as the starter, just a 35% chance if it was Mason Rudolph. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.